Well, hey everyone, Cheryl Pace here. Happy Monday. It is such a gorgeous day here in Florida. Kind of chilly, surprisingly, but it's awesome. Um, thank you for joining me live as we continue the series Shift Happens. Um, so we've already talked about how all of us are made up of molecules. And those molecules are moving all the time at different rates, depending on whether we're in a good positive state of mind or a negative state of mind. When we're in a positive state of mind, those molecules are going really, they're vibrating very quickly. And when we're in a, a negative state of mind, it's they're more slow. Um, we also talked about how we draw things to us depending on the vibrational frequency of our molecules. So it's really important to keep that frequency high so that we're drawing in good things into our life. Then we talked about how we can raise our vibrational frequency by doing things that make us happy, whether it's singing or reading or dancing or being around positive people. And then there are universal things like being thankful or going out in nature. Those things always raise our vibrational frequency. So all of these are the basis for the law of attraction or the law of vibration, which states that everything that we focus on, anything that we focus on expands. So if you can conceive it, if you can believe it, you can achieve it. So today I wanna to go a little deeper and talk about visualization. Now most of us visualize all the time, we just call it uh, daydreaming. We daydream, that's the same thing as visualization. And um, you know, what, where did my little notes go? I got lost. I can go without my notes. But anyway, um, some people are always thinking positive, and then there are those other people, you know them, they're always thinking of the worst case scenario. Well, the bad news for them is that the law of attraction really is real, and so if you are, uh, if you create more of what you're focusing on, and you're focusing on the negative, your life is just gonna be like a series of unfortunate events. Um, you've got to shift your mindset. And that's that's what this little series is all about. That's why I call it Shift Happens. <laughs> um, but anyway, and it's also why you can see two people who are in the exact same life situations and one is just as happy as a little bird and the other one is miserable. It's because the happy person is focusing on what they have and they're, they're thankful and the other person is focusing on what they don't have and they are grumpy and miserable, okay? It's all because it all depends on what you're focusing on. You create more of what you focus on. So um, keep in mind that visualization and emotion go hand in hand. So when you do visualize, it's really important to feel the feelings that you would have if you were already in that situation. I'm gonna explain this in a way that makes a little more sense. So the first time I ever really visualized something, I didn't even realize what I was doing. My son, uh, Jared, who some of you know, was in Maui. We're very, very close. And I was happy for him to be in Maui, but I missed him. I really, really missed him. Cause we, you know, before that we saw each other quite a bit. Well, one day he posted a picture of this Jeep and it was in the middle of a field and the pictures were so beautiful. And he, there he was with his friends. And I just felt like I could walk into that picture. I could almost feel myself being there. In my mind, I was walking into that picture and I could feel the breeze. I could feel it coming off of the ocean. I could feel the warmth of the sun. I could see the beautiful colors. I could hear my son's voice and I felt so happy. I felt so happy. Now at the time in my mind, there was no way I could ever go to Maui. It just, I don't like flying. We didn't have the money, blah, blah, blah. But I kept holding on to that picture in my mind. I thought about it all the time and I kept feeling the feelings that I would feel if I were there. And do you know what? I ended up going to Maui. 
And when I got there, it was exactly as I had imagined it. Now, it's not magic and it's not voodoo. There really is science behind it, which I'm going to talk about tomorrow. Um, I'm kind of a natural born skeptic and I, I have to have the science behind things. But when you visualize, like I said, it's important to feel those feelings and it's also really important for you. Now you can see it in a little snapshot in your mind. You can maybe see it in, in a little movie in your mind, but you don't want to be looking at yourself having the experience. You want to be looking through your own eyes as if you are having that experience. That's a, that's a really key part. Now, if you've ever heard of Jack Canfield, you may say, oh, I've never heard of Jack Canfield. Well, I bet you've heard of the Chicken Soup for the Soul books. Jack Canfield is one of the authors of that book. He has a video about visualizing, and I love his story. He, um, I think he was making $4,000 a year, and someone told him about the visualization process, and what he did was he took a $100 bill, and he put three zeros after it. He taped it onto his ceiling and every night before he went to bed, he looked at it. He felt how he would feel if he had this money. He felt happiness. He thought about it a lot and he would go to sleep. When he woke up, the first thing he saw was that $100,000. He would feel happy. He would think of all of the things that he was grateful for. And within a certain amount of time, I think it was within a year, there is a series of events, but I'll, I'll kind of keep you in suspense there. But he ended up making something like $97,382 that year. He said, well, it wasn't exactly the 100000 but was I going to complain? Was I going to say that this didn't work? No, it really, really does work. So you have to just do it. Don't let outside circumstances influence what's going on in your belief in it. You just have to have that belief inside. Keep visualizing and trust that when the timing is right, it's going to come to be. And uh, this, I know this is kind of a cliffhanger message because I'm going to end there. But tomorrow, I really am going to explain the science behind why and how visualization works. So I hope that you're going to tune in with me tomorrow. I always come uh, come on live here at 2:30 uh, in the afternoon. So um, you can also, you know, you can follow me and that way you'll get notifications about my live videos if you want to follow them. If you haven't seen my first few in the uh, Shift Happens series, go back and watch them. They're really pretty cool. And also let me know that you're getting some value out of this by giving me a little heart or a little thumbs up. Um, maybe a, a comment is always awesome and share with anyone you think might benefit from this message. So it was really great to see you guys today and I will talk to you tomorrow. Have a wonderful day. Take care.